If you had to pick the best holiday, which one would you pick? Uh, I don't know, because on one hand, Halloween is such a good holiday. You can scare people and go trick-or-treating. But on the other hand, Christmas is really great because you can open a ton of presents. And don't forget about the food. Wait, what about family? Oh, yeah, that too. But soy más o menos. Well, I think my favorite holiday is Christmas because you get so many presents. And I get to spend time with my family. Wait. Oh, sorry, guys. We got sidetracked. My name is Shaylee. And mine is Naomi. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get on with the new show. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the War Report. Report. I'm Albert. And I'm Roberto. The weather for today will be mostly sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 46 degrees, so it should be pretty nice during the day. And that's right, but for Tuesday it will be cloudy, so bring your jacket to will be cold for almost the whole day. On Wednesday, it will be 66 during the day and drop down to 40 degrees at night. So remember, a warm sweater, sweater so you don't freeze. And well, for Thursday, it will be even colder than Wednesday, so dress even warmer. Last but not least, on Friday, it will be a high of 66 and a low of 52 degrees. So continue to wear your warm clothes and bring a jacket if you're going out in the dark. Well, that's it for today, Montar Huskies. I'm Roberto. And I'm Albert. See, See you, you after a winter break. Hello, Montero, Montero Huskies. Huskies. My name is Samuel. And my name is Sebastian. And, and we, we are your World News, news reporters. reporters. Do you know a place in Italy called Venice? Venice is a place in Italy where you are on a 118 small island in the middle of the Venetian lagoon. Since it is in the middle of the lagoon, Venice is, a, is very used to floods. This beautiful city city experience rising water levels from rising tides at least four times a year especially in the winter these floods are very dangerous on november 12 2019 the 1.87 meter tide swept the city this was one of the highest waves ever experienced since the big wave that flooded event that is in 1966 to make things worse the flood was followed by two consecutive water surges both topping 1.5 meters on November 15 and 17, 2019. The rapid succession of the high tides covered over 80% of the city canals causing destruction all over the city. I felt bad when I heard about this. In Venice, hundreds of young volunteers came to this city to help with cleanup efforts to save important artifacts. These youngsters came from all over Italy and consisted of students ranging in the age from 18 and to 25 years old. The 25-year-old Piero Ricciista told CNN when he saw flooding, he knew he had to do something. He gathered volunteers to help the city. These people also collected garbage and water damage appliances and take them to recycling. I sure hope they succeeded. Me too. Well, well that's, that's it, it for, for today. today. We, we are your World News Reporters signing off. So, since this is the last news show for 2019, we decided to take a trip down memory lane. Which is why today's show will be about, drum roll please, the Titanic. That's right, and of course the Titanic is worse than the last ship we talked about, which was the Queen Mary. The Titanic sank on April 14, 1912 through April 15, 1912 because the Titanic sank at midnight. Something cool and sad is that someone lived from the Titanic. Her name was Malvina Zin. It's cool that she was the only one that survived, but the sad part is that she died when she was 97 years old. 97 years old is pretty good to live that long. Some people say that the Titanic sank because it only hit the iceberg, although others say that the Titanic sank 
because the engine caught on fire and that side hit the iceberg. So that's some facts right there. <laughs> Sadly, since the Titanic hit the iceberg, over 1,500 people died. You're right. That is very sad. You know what is crazy? What? It was only going 24 miles per hour. Really? That's not very fast at all. Well, that's all for today. No. Bye. See you next year. Bye. Good morning, Huskies and Snowball, of course. I'm Lil Beth. And I'm Angel. Today we're going to announce some special birthdays. One special person is Lance Lim, who was born on December 16, 2000 in Los Angeles, California. He is a TV and movie actor who is known for playing Run Ye in Growing Up Fisher. In the 2016 Nickelodeon series School of Rock, he plays Zach. He stars in episodes of Anger Management and Fresh Off the Boat and was cast to be in Independence Day Residence. He appeared in the 2012 Disney XD movie Kirby Buckets and had his first ever major role in the 2013 film Innocent Blood. He is a very well played table tennis player and in 2011 he was on a Korean singing show Star Audition when he played Run Yang. He was friends with Henry Fisher who was played by Ellie Baker. Even though he was raised in Los Angeles, he is from a Korean black background. He is fluent in the language and considers himself very well first in the culture. Another person whose birthday is today is Dakota Lutis, who was born on December 16, 2004 in the United States. Dakota Lutis is a child actor who landed, his, who landed the starring role in the series Coop and Cammy as the World, as the title character Coop, rather. Before landing his first acting role, he was already doing live performances as a magician, a musician. He studied music, musical theater for eight years under Jano Annerly. He booked, he booked the role of Scrag in the 2019 film Skate God. In the series Kupu Kami asked the world, Dakota is the son of Eric and Jenna Rather. He, he has three siblings, older sister Charlotte Rather and younger sibling Kami and Ollie Rather. Thank you for listening to our birthday segment. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday to you. See, See you, you in 2020. 2020. Bye. Natalia, do you know what today is? Yeah, December 16th. Why? No, it's because it's almost Christmas. Oh, right, but... But what? What about Christmas Chronicles? Isn't that the movie we're going to be talking about? Well, you wrote the script, but of course, the movie. Amber, did you not know we are recording the entire time? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I have to move all this stuff out of the way. Get, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we will start right now. Okay. Good morning, Montera. Amber, it's my line. <sighs> well, then say it. Okay. One, two, three. Good morning, Montero Huskies. I'm Natalia, and this is Amber. Today we will be talking about... Christmas Chronicles. What will the movie be about, Natalia? The movie will be about after accidentally crashing Santa's sleigh, a brother and a sister pull an all-nighter to save Christmas with a savvy, straight-talking steak Nick. Wow, that's actually a good movie. I think I would, I would want to watch it. Same. Well, we hope you had a great holiday, everyone. And don't forget to see lots of movies. Well, I guess this is it for 2019. Merry Christmas, everyone. And see you in 2020. Bye. Hello, Matera Huskies, and welcome back to another episode of New Technology. Today, we will be talking about the Pixel 4. So Naomi and I realized that last episode, it sounded like an advertisement. So we're here telling you that it's not. Well, anyways, let's talk about the Pixel 4. The Pixel 4 is a phone that was made by Google. Even though it is not Google's first phone, it has definitely improved from the first phone. It takes pictures when it is dark and can capture all the colors in darkness. Welcome to the next generation of Night Sight. There is also a second camera lens that can zoom in to give you the perfect picture without you having to destroy the picture. There is also unlimited space for photos. And get this. 
You can open your phone by one, showing your palm, two, face identification, or three, by using a password. Hey, let's say that you're in a car crash. It detects it right away and automatically calls 911. You can also wave your hand to change the music. The navigation system is also cool because it shows you real life images so that you know where to turn. Well, we don't want to give you all the details. Bye, Bye guys! Good morning, Montreal Huskies. Welcome back to another segment of fashion slash trends. I'm Valeria. And I'm Linda. You look mad. It's because, well, like, I'm an e-girl. I'm a regular girl. Aha, uh -huh, ha, sure. Anyways, let's get started. Today's trend in fashion, as you can see, is an e-girl or an e-boy. An e-girl is me. Just kidding. Is a girl or a boy that includes goth-inspired makeup and punk-style clothing. For their makeup, they put blush on their nose and cheeks. Not true. I don't wear makeup. Eh, not my problem. Continuing, an e-girl can wear a black shirt or with white stripes, or it can also be a long sleeve shirt. They also wear mom black jeans, also known as baggy jeans. As jewelry, they wear tons of chains on their necks and their pants. Yep. And let's not forget that e-girls and e-boys have TikTok. Yes, girlies, they have TikTok. This is a uh, e-girl, not visco. Well, it's okay because I'm both. That's what she said. Anyways, that is it for today's segment. This has been your e-girl and visco girl, Valeria. Can't relate, but your normal average Linda signing, signing off, off, and, and we, we hope, hope to see, see you next time. time. Bye. And I oop. Well, that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed this week's news show. I still can't believe you like Halloween better than Christmas because we all know Christmas is better. <laughs> ya te dije que soy más o menos. Christmas is way better than Halloween, and all the viewers know it too. I can't even speak to you right now. Jaylene. What? Let's just finish this and we can argue later, okay? Fine. Bye, Bye guys. Terra Huskies. My name is Samuel. And my name is Sebastian. And, and we, we are, are your World News Reporters. Do you know a place in Italy called Ven Ven Venice? No, I had it. Venice. 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 V E N I. -S. She was recording. We could have still continued. So, since this is the last news show for 2019. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was you. Hello, Hello Montero, Montero Huskies. Huskies. My name is Samuel. And my name is Sebastian. And, and we, we are your World News reporters. reporters. Do you know a place in Italy called Venice? Oh! <laughs> Natalia, do you know what today is? Yeah, December 16th. Why? No, it, it's because it's almost Christmas. What about Christmas Chronicles? Oh, wait, I skipped the line. <laughs> 